in 1869, May 1869, the Chinese completed the first transcontinental railroad in the United States, or I say mostly Chinese. And at the uh, ceremonies, the Chinese were not recognized, except by Charles Crocker, who was um, you know, part of the big four uh, of the capitalist robber barons that uh, financed it, as well as was the support from the government. A uh, hundred years later, at the centennial in Utah, where there were seven senators and John Wayne, um, <laughs> the, um, it, there was a centennial anniversary of the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad. And again, the Chinese were left out. My uncle Phil Choi of the Chinese Historical Society, um, longtime leader and the architect of Chinese American history, that had tried to advocate for greater Chinese American representation for months. And at the last minute, they were uh, sitting in the back, and there was a smaller ceremony later on. And so I'm going to reenact that uh, experience of exclusion of history, of censorship. Who built the railroad? Utah, 1969. The centennial anniversary of the completion of the first transcontinental railroad. Secretary of Transportation, John Volpe. Who else but Americans could drill 10 tunnels in mountains 30 feet deep in snow? Who else but Americans could chisel through miles of solid granite? Who else but Americans could have laid 10 miles of track in 12 hours? Who else but Americans? Who else but Americans? Who else? Who else? My great grandfather. Who else? Who else? Who drove the golden spike to build the railroad? Was it American workers? No. No. It was Chinese workers who built the railroad. Chinese workers built the railroad. summer of 2006 in Beijing, I witnessed Chinese workers building high-rise buildings and hotels 24-7. I remember reading about Charles Crocker, the member of the Big Four who hired Chinese workers in 1865 because the Irish workers were making little progress after two years. The other members of the Big Four, Stanford, Hopkins, and Huntington, were highly skeptical of the Chinese because of their diminutive size. Justifying his decision, Crocker made the cogent point that the Chinese railroad laborers possess as strong a work ethic as their ancestors who built the Great Wall in China.
was hard as well as dangerous. To carve a roadbed out of the granite promontory of Cape Horn. Towering 14 feet above the American River. Chinese laborers lowered themselves from the top of the cliff in wicker baskets to drill holes and light explosives, pulling themselves up before, hopefully the gunpowder exploded beneath them, working through two severe winters in the high Sierras. The Chinese lived in caverns, carved out below the snow level, and were often victims of snow slides and avalanches. Before the railroad was completed, Chinese labor set the record for laying 10 miles of track in one day. Who built the railroad? Chinese workers built the railroad.